bringing all the staff to the stage. There we go. Yes, Martin as well, you're running home. You come and join us as well. There we go. So, I'm going to hand you over now to the boss. He's actually going to do some work now. Firstly, can I just say, David, don't start, because it's going to start me off. It's not... Don't. It's not goodbye, <laughs> because you... You have become part of our family, our lives. When, you, when I first met you, I was astounded that you even would contemplate coming here and helping us. A drag queen of your calibre and your standing. You have excited for you to come here and I am so gutted that you're going but I would just would like to wish you such good luck in your new venture and you're not always always welcome back here all and bon voyage. I'm not going to speech it. I just want to say... We love oh, I don't you! Know I love you too. It doesn't matter where you work, Penny. I mean, it, what's important is that you bring something to the venue. I'm not a diva and I'm not a stuck-up queen. I just, I go where the work is and you offer me work and I came. It's as simple as that. It's nothing to do with the calibre of who I am or anything. It's just me as a person. Wanted to come here and do some, bring some shows and routines into it. That was all. I came here one day and I saw it. Everyone was doing solo numbers. There was no group numbers. I'm known in the circuit for putting on shows in other venues. Manchester, Jersey, Copenhagen, Berlin, lots of places. I just wanted to do that here. That's what you paid me for. So you have nothing to thank me for. You paid me for what I did. So it's as simple as that. Thanks. Thanks. Can I just say, you can't really pay for talent like yours. And what you've done for this venue, you've got it from here to here. Yeah. 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 Can I also say, while we're on the subject, I've also, I've worked with some bastards in my time. I tell you, some queens are fucking loathed and detested. But I've never worked with a nicer bunch of guys and the cast of this show and the crew have been lovely. The, 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 I've shaved like a fucking leaf here. The, um, the bar, terrace staff, sorry, the bar staff have been absolutely lovely. Paul, thanks for putting me up there when I was homeless. Helen, you as well. Carl, thank you, everything. Thanks. <laughs> um, but I've, I've got a few people I'm going to thank now, so this might get boring, might take a minute, but don't like it. First of all, I want to thank these three queens on the stage. Come forward, you three, right now. Also, my dear, dear friends who are in the UK and Turkey, Vanity, Chelsea and Courtney, who I adored, we got them so well. They were lovely, lovely queens. But, this Daisy Diamond is our latest recruit, and I tell you what, this queen's gonna go far. I've, seen, I've been doing drag for 40 years in September. I'm 57 years old. I've been doing this since I was 17. I've never been out of work. I've never known anyone like her for energy. She reminds me of me when I was 16. I don't honestly believe that the scope of her talent has even been sitting yet. I think you should take over these routines when I go. Make sure these fucking bitches do them. You make sure they do them, Daisy, because I'm relying on you. So a massive hand for Daisy. She's a wonderful girl. Secondly, oh, secondly, this one on the end, when she first auditioned for us, she could put fucking one foot in front of the other. She was like the scarecrow from the Wizard of Oz. She couldn't rotate. But her determination to make the, to do the routines. It's the queen that can't, couldn't dance for Toffee. Not for Toffee. Am I right? She'd admit that. 
But he worked like a fucking Trojan, and now I'm trusting in any routine we do. And I, I want a big hand for Chichi. The funny thing was, the funny thing was this. Chichi didn't even audition for us. It was her boyfriend that auditioned. She came along for the ride to give him a bit of confidence. And Penny said to me, which one? I said, it's got to be her. Yeah, not the other one, not Alex. Where is he? He's not in his head. You know what I mean. So anyway, that's Chichi. She's adorable. I love her to be as well. Keep working hard, keep working hard. But, oh, somewhere in the in Rampton area sits a big fat drag queen with a leg in, with a hip in blaster. And when I first come in, me and this drag queen never saw eye to eye. She didn't want change, I did. But after, yeah, Miss Pixie Primer, when we when I first come in, when I first come in, we never did we, did we? Did see eye to eye, could stick each other. But Pixie is one of the nicest fucking queens. She's got the biggest art I've ever known. And wherever she is, I wish her all Godspeed. And hurry up back, Pixie, because God knows we fucking need you. Alright, so a big hand for Pixie Primer. I've got to say, I've never liked her act, but I love her to bits and pieces. She knows that we've spoken about it many a time. But last but not least, I'm sorry, I'm going to have to say this. This is going to choke me now. Is that there was one queen that's been here since the day I arrived. And the day I arrived, this queen said to me, there's no point in giving me dance routines, I've got two left feet. <laughs> and when I sat in this audience, when, uh, when Penny Lovely asked me to come and sing the show, I couldn't stop laughing. When this queen came out and denied the scurry, I was on the fucking floor, I never seen anything so funny. <laughs> and I seen some shit in my day. She just made me roll. And I said to my mate, who I'm sat with, that queen's got so much potential. She's like a lump of dough, you can do anything with her. And God knows I was right, because I tell you what, she might not have two left feet now, but she's, this girl's a dancer. He can fucking dance now. And I've never known, I've never known, sorry guys, I've never known anyone in my life to work as any, anywhere I've ever worked with. in the past, I'm not bragging, I've worked with dancers and showgirls and all sorts, but I've never worked with non-dancers. And I'm going to come here and do routines for people that are not, and by their own admission, are not dancers is tough. You have to pull forward, you have to pull back and don't show off, still make them look good, don't stick out in the crowd. We did a show for Pride a couple of years ago, Mary Poppins on the big stage. This one was Mary Poppins, and day and night he was rehearsing routines with a guy that played Burr over and over and over and over. Every fucking second that we had, he was in here, or he was over there, or he was back there, or he was in his living room at home rehearsing. Hang on earth, I love you to bitch, you know I do, you're my sister, you're my soulmate. When I first got over, this one said to me, do you know what? He said to me, do you know what? I've always been treated as a bit of a joke. People are always seen as a bit of a joke. And he said, but you, you, have made, you have turned me into someone. You said this to me, didn't you? I'm not making this up, am I? And he said, you made me into a performer. If it wasn't for you, I, I wouldn't be the person I am now. Do you know what? That's such a fucking huge compliment for me. Because I adore it. Of all these guys, I work with them like this. And I've got one line from the Wizard of Oz I want to quote to him, and that is this. Scarecrow, I think I'm going to miss you the most. Thanks very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Oh, God, I'm going to 